So if somebody wants to initiate contact, this could be someone who wants to invite you somewhere. This could be out for like a social event. But they want to confess how they feel like that person is in love. This person wants to say, I love you. Or this could be someone who wants to hear you say that you love them. Wow. Now, whoever this person is, this person is someone who was forced into a marriage, who would force marriage being here. They feel like somebody conned them. They got in a connection with someone that was very dark and they just did not know. Now, whoever this person is, this person is like mixing up potions, medicine or something like that. Yeah, forced marriage. It's like somebody intentionally did something um, to get another person to commit to them, marry them. And this was some type of excessive, excessive force to make another person feel as if they were not free to do whatever it is that they wanted to do. But this was unbeknownst to this person. Like they didn't know. Like they could have cooked something for this person. They could have drunk around this person. And they didn't know this person was off into um, something dark. They did this to interfere with something though. This could be how this person feels about you. Maybe this person knew. Yeah, this is someone that's very narcissistic. They did this to like keep this person attracted to them, interested in them. Yeah, this is someone who was determined to make sure that that person was someone that um, did not feel the way they felt about you anymore. They're no longer indecisive, though. So they could have found out that this person was someone who was trying to come between the connection that they want to have with you and what they did to, like, keep them interested in them or attracted to them. Something that was very underhanded. This is somebody that they needed to set boundaries with, be very firm with. Yeah, you have the fool. So somebody have definitely moved on from someone that was trying to force them to marry them. Or this could have been an actual marriage that they were tricked into. Yeah, somebody was trick, trying to trick another person so they would always be able to control that person, get some type of support from that person. This could be uh, financial stability. Like somebody was very desperate to hold on to another person for a relationship or, as I say, stability with the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. And they ended up finding out the truth. Like they've gained a lot of clarity. They realized they made a bad decision. And now they're moving on. This could be someone that was very immature. Very young minded. And um, they just weren't paying attention to. Who they got in a connection with. They just jumped in this connection without thinking. And then they felt stuck. So they could have been attached to that person for a long period of time. Yeah, 
Now, whoever this person is that did this, they're in regret. They're disappointed because that person is someone who has clarity. They're not confused. So if this was supposed to confuse that person, have that person feeling like, you know, they don't, they're not free to do whatever it is that they want to. They're just stuck to that person. They've made a final decision. And this other person is in despair. They feel lost. Yeah, because that person did not want to be in a relationship with them. They only got disappointed. While they were attached to that person, they felt like they just didn't want to be around that person with the four of swords being here. They definitely needed to recover from whatever this was that they did to this person. Now, somebody is having a mental breakdown because this person is someone that is um, in a happy space. Like if they're single and they're no longer attached to this person, they're in a good space. Like they're happy without that person. Whatever they were given to that person, providing for that person, that all ended out. If they've been trying to reach out to this person, talk to this person, they're rejecting them. They don't want anything to do with that person. They don't trust them. Now, while they were still attached to that person, um, they could have stopped eating around that person, drinking around that person, because they just simply did not trust this person. Yeah, somebody have healed and another person is disappointed. So if this was magic or spells that somebody felt like they would be able to control another person with, they've recovered from this. And this energy feels defeated. Now, whoever this person is, they felt like using whatever this was, if this was, you know, some type of spells or something like that, this would help them win some type of secret competition to keep that person separated from you. Yeah, it's like you're someone that loves yourself and um, this is someone who doesn't. So they felt like the energy that you're in is why that person is in love with you. You loving yourself is how you attract love. And they could be intimidated because you're someone that does not have to use magic or spells to get another person to pay attention to you or be attracted to you or be in love with you.
Yeah, this is someone, they're going through a lot of bad karma. You have federal case facing jail time, hidden motives, and panicking. You have liar. So this person could have lied in a federal case. And somehow they're panicking because they know that this is coming back towards them. And this is their karma. So whatever this federal case was, um... They had a hidden motive behind it, and they felt like it would never come out. It would never be revealed. Now, this federal case could have been a case that the person that wants to say something to you, express the way they feel, they could have been dealing with. And this was supposed to make sure that that person stayed in separation from you. They could have ended up going to jail behind whoever this person is because they could not control that person. They panic when they realize that this person was not in an illusion. Yeah, this is a hidden enemy, somebody that you do not know. And they felt like in due time, if they can keep that person away from you, they would be able to, you know, keep that person in a lustful energy. They would be confused with lust. That person would stay stuck on the wrong path and they would never be able to follow their heart. They would never be able to stand up, love their self or manifest um, true love. We have cancer, so you could be a cancer. One of these people could be a cancer. We have everything backfired. Somebody definitely found out about their destiny, and they realized this person was someone that was only trying to block their blessings. someone who only wanted money yeah they've healed whoever this person is they've healed from whatever this illusion was and they're in love with you Whoever this person is that wanted money, they didn't want to be responsible for their self. They didn't want to have to take care of their self. They felt like if they can trick that person, confuse that person, um, keep that person in an energy where they can control that person, they would never have to stand up and um, take accountability for their self. They wouldn't have to work. That person would be weighed down and burdened. You have Sagittarius and Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. One of these people could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. You have justice. So whatever this, this federal case is, justice is being served. Something is being made fair and balanced out for whoever went through this. Yeah, this was an, um, an injustice legal matter. Yeah. You have karmic partner. So this was definitely like a karmic soulmate, karmic partner that only wanted money. You have Aquarius. You could be an Aquarius. One of these people could be an Aquarius. And then you have self-worth. So it's like if they only wanted money and that person is someone who they could have ended up going through a legal situation before they detached from this person and they had to focus on the legal situation and they could no longer give to that person. Whatever they were providing for that person, it automatically came to a complete end 
because this injustice legal matter caught them off guard. Or whoever the person is, this karmic soulmate, they could have gotten upset because this person distanced themselves. Like they could have gotten real tight. They started being stingy with their finances and they could not provide for that person or give to that person like they normally did. And um, they got upset and they lied in a legal situation to have that person like stuck. And they felt like that person would have to lose a lot financially. If they couldn't get money from that person, they were going to make sure that person was not able to have money for their self or save any money. Yeah, this is somebody that's very dark and sad. But whatever this this um, legal matter is, it's definitely being balanced out and made fair, so the truth could have came out in the um, in this situation. We have twin flame, so this could be your twin. I feel like you're someone that was brought in their life for a reason, for a purpose. You've helped this person to find their true destiny. This person feel like you have helped them heal in many ways that no one else could. Now they've been watching you. It's like they've been thinking about you with obsessed being here. It could be watching you online. And they're hoping to run into you. But this is someone who could have heard that you were dating someone. And they want to know if, if it's true or not. But this card says, please tell me it isn't true. So this could have been something that they heard. And um, they're constantly like watching your social media. Trying to keep up with you to see if it's true or not. This is someone who, if they were lost in the past, they have found their self again. And um, this is someone who wants to get away. They just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Whatever took place in the past, if this is someone who played games, with playing games, and I'm sorry, they want to apologize for this. It's like if this is someone who was in a connection with someone else and they thought that they were going to come towards you and um, have some type of clean relationship with you or one night stand or go back and forth, um, be in and out. They didn't know that they were being played with this way. So whatever they did to you in the past, these games, it immediately backfired. It had been going on for a long time, but this is just something that they weren't paying attention to. But right after they started doing whatever this was in the past to you, it immediately backfired, especially if this is your twin. Whatever they did to you, it's like doing it to their self. It's like somebody was definitely presented the truth of their life after they did something to you in the past. They feel like you didn't deserve the way that they treated you. They feel like they've caused you some type of pain. And however they treated you, it's like that person was someone, the game that they were playing was they were acting as if they didn't care. If you reached out to that person, they would not respond. 
So this could be someone who wanted you to chase after them, sweat them, or something like that. But they were constantly doing this to try to get your attention. They were just doing it in a negative way. So they were playing some type of childish, immature games. This is someone who needed to mature. And they didn't know somebody was playing some type of game with them. Whatever they did to you, it has helped them to reflect on things that they just weren't paying attention to. You have reaching out. So this is someone you can expect to hear from. This could be through a text, a call. They feel like you and them are a perfect match. You complete this person. They complete you. This person has been receiving a lot of signs from the universe about you. And they don't want to keep avoiding them. The connection that you have with your twin is a healing connection. This was meant to help you and that person grow and transform your life. They feel like the love that you and them share is long lasting. They also help they also realize that or they feel like you're someone that helped them realize that they are worthy of love when they felt like they weren't. Whatever connection they were in with this person is like they knew they did not have any true emotion for that person. But they were attracted to this person. And they didn't know why. It's like being torn between the two. The spiritual connection that you have with your twin is way stronger than the physical connection that they had, that they had with that person. And they felt like if they could succeed doing this, to your twin there would never be a physical connection between you and them so there could be some type of holiday coming up that this person wants to reach out and say something to you with holiday being here Yeah, this is someone who feels as <laughs> it's like they've fallen in love with you. They want to confess how they feel about you, but they're unsure about how you feel about them. So this is why they're wanting to communicate with you, come towards you, because they want to be sure that however they feel is um, the same way that you feel. So they're getting ready to take action. Yeah, they feel like if you if you express how you felt to this person in the past or they knew how you felt, they feel like you don't feel that same way. Because of this time apart. They feel like you view them as a friend, but they want to be more than friends. So this is why they're coming in with this confession. 